Man, some drama going live today. I don't know what's up. I don't know what's going on. The uh, good old Facebook. No, what am I on? YouTube. I don't even know what I'm doing. The YouTube was uh, not cooperating, so hopefully somebody's on here. Anybody? What's up? What's up? There you all are. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm going to put you guys in my handy dandy handy uh, holder. This way I can hang with you without shaking around. So I'm hanging out. How's everybody doing? Riley, uh, OT Fishing, Jazzy Hands, uh, Riley Mod, Rob, what up, what up, what up, what up? So uh, what's going on? Thanks. Uh, I think it says Mastix likes my channel. That's cool. Thank you. I'm going to be hanging out here today, relaxing with you, chatting with you, and uh, just seeing what's doing. Let me just get situated. I was having some... Uh, issues with the uh, YouTube app. It's not been working too well. Uh, hope everyone's doing good today. Just want to say what's up. Still no word by, about the Fly River Turtle. Uh, that turtle is not around. Uh, but I also want to let you know, like some of you were wondering about Scotty's video because you saw me with the Fly River Turtle in that video. I actually had three. So now I have two Fly River Turtles. Uh, so, uh, you know, when I make this pond a little bit bigger, I'll be moving the other fly rivers into this. So uh, I hope that answers the question about the fly river turtles. Uh, also, Andrew, I'm mentioning your name. Uh, Void Beast, my day is going awesome. Uh, Sarah Russell, don't know what to say. Have no idea why it's lagging. Uh, the reason it's probably lagging is because I am uploading some uh, videos to Dropbox for Tom to edit. There's nothing I can do. Uh, so, uh, yeah, man. <coughs> so that's what's up. So uh, what else is going on here? I'm going to answer some questions today, but I'm trying to catch you up on the week. Uh, it seems like some of you have lags and some of you don't. So when you complain about me lagging, maybe it's your internets. I don't know. It's like he's doing good there, Debonair Reptiles. Um, what else is going on? Let's see. I was just hanging out with Crocodile Kyle, and we were going over uh, some ideas we have for our new reptile sanctuary that will be coming in uh, mm, sooner rather than later. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, pretty good ideas, you know. It's going to be uh, up to the. Um, it's going to be open to the public, but only by a guided tour. So basically, if you can get five of your friends together. We're kicking around the idea of how much the uh, fee would be, but the fee is going to go 100% towards the sanctuary and keeping it going and running it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm pretty stoked. Um, some of you uh, asking about Fly River Turtles, I already talked about that at the top of the uh, broadcast. Uh, Slinky is in his enclosure, Roy Spaulding. So uh, no Slinky right now. Thank you very much, Nick. Appreciate you digging the pond. I'm loving it too. Uh, I have a video coming up soon. Uh, we got some African cichlids in the pond now. I don't know if you guys can see them or not, but um, I might pick you guys up and show you around a little bit in just a little bit. But the uh, cichlids are in there. I got a bunch of them in there now. Pretty excited about that. Uh, Fad Gibral Guapo is good. Uh, man, so uh, we got a few different kinds of cichlids. We got, I don't even remember the names. It's all on the video. So. When I'm putting them in, you guys will be able to check them out. Uh, the other cool thing going on this week uh, is we, uh, oh wait, there was something. Oh yeah, yeah, the angry, the angry python. Everyone's worried about this python. Um, so not exactly sure, but I was able to get in there. Um, I'm going to feed him tomorrow. It's been about a week since he's been here, so it should have relaxed, or her rather. So um, she's kind of in there and... Um, you know, I want her to relax. I uh, got new enclosures coming. I'm excited about that for my snakes. Some of you, that you know, it's vision cages, uh, so kind of boring. But uh, I got Colin back outside in his out there enclosure, and I got a few more enclosures coming for the Timor pythons, the Dumarels, and then my other two snakes. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, there you go. So uh, what else is going on? It's snowing in the UK, tropical fish. That's a bummer. Uh, but it's only another month of winter and should be better. It's not snowing here. Uh, could I bring out a snake? Huh. You know, maybe. Maybe I can. I was thinking about doing it, but if I leave you guys to go get a snake, 
I think you guys will be upset. I don't know. Are you guys going to be upset if I went out and grabbed a snake? I mean, that might be a problem. I don't know. Uh, Liz Jones, my sulcata enclosure is the both of them. Let's see. Uh, I think 300 feet by 100 foot. So it's huge. They're massive. They're a half an acre for uh, 10 tortoises, half an acre. And then um, I have the other enclosure, which is just over there. I'll show you. If you guys look, there's the other enclosure. It's pretty big. I don't know exactly how many square feet it is, but it's large. So there's uh, a few more salt colonies in there. Uh, get the snake, man. Get the snake, man. Should I do it? Should I run and get the snake? What do you think? It's just over there. You guys won't be able to come with me, though. So uh, that's kind of a bummer. But in the meantime, I guess I could kind of... I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to go get the snake. We'll go get Colin. But right now, we're going to do a live cam on this turtle. This is a, um, how's that? I'll leave you guys. That's, that's my pink belly side neck. I'll be right back. Everybody, I'm coming. I'm coming back. What's up? I'm back. I'm back. Okay. Oh gosh. Uh, hi. How you doing? Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. All right. Hold on. Let's flip this. Woo! Oh boy. This is something. Here's Colin. And uh, thanks, guys. I hope you don't mind. What's up? What's up? So here's Colin hanging out with me. I love this snake. He was outside in his enclosure. This is my coastal carpet python named after my buddy, Colin Schumark. He's coming right up to you. There you go. Good times. So I uh, hope you like that pink belly side neck turtle. That's a species of turtle from Australia. And now I've got, oh my gosh, I've got my carpet python, Colin, who I love. I absolutely love the snake. So many people say these guys are quite nippy, but not my Colin, and I kind of woke him up and kind of, he he uh, he was sleeping, and I kind of ripped him out of his enclosure to hang out with you guys, because I figured, you know, why not? I like to please on these live videos, so uh, that's what I'm doing. You know, these live videos are just a lot of fun for me. I get to hang out with you guys, and it's pretty rad. So, uh, my gosh, my gosh. Guys, still asking about the Fly River Turtle? That's at the top of the show. No Fly River Turtle. I have two more in another pond. So I'm gonna build a bigger pond here. Put two turtle in here. There you go. I've been, I gotta tell you guys, I've kind of been in crazy mood lately. We're a um, little nuts. I've been working a lot, waking up super early. I'm up at five in the morning every, every day and been working hard, so kind of rad. But I'm a little uh, cuckoo. And uh, what else do we got here? Hi, Kimmy Crafts. I'm saying hi to you. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Slinky is good. Uh, lots of questions going on. Lots of questions. Uh, but anyway, there's Colin. Look at this guy. I love the coastal carpets. I like the carpet python's heads. I like all the uh, the genus Morelia, which is where which is what he's found in. I love Bolian's pythons. Um, I love all the arboreal pythons. What you doing, Carl? You gonna come up here and bite me on my nose? 
in front of everyone. Oh, kiss column for you. There you go. Nice kiss for my serpent. Uh, don't know how old Colin is. Colin was a um, Colin was a rescue type situation. Not really a rescue, but I got him from some people that felt bad. They had him, and what basically happened is, you know, he's in a tank and didn't get a lot of attention. So Colin gets a lot of attention now from me, as you can see, and I love him. And there's a reason why I love him. You can see how gentle he is, so he's pretty rad. Uh, and those of you asking about the baby rhino iguanas, they were sold this past weekend at Repticon in Tampa. Uh, Connor, my buddy Connor bought them. So there you go. No more babies until the end of this year. I'll have some more. Uh, let's see, let's see. I know, that's true. The Fly River Turtle will haunt me for the rest of my YouTube life. But whatever, man. Uh, you know, you live, you learn, and you got to move on. Let's see, children's python, and I'm from Australia, and I love catching carpet pythons. So cool that you have these guys in the wild where you're from. Uh, North America, no wild python species, but luckily we are able to keep uh, non-native species here so we can continue to learn about them and just see how amazing they are. But I can't wait to get back to Australia to hang out with my buddies at the Critter Cam, Critter Cam crew. You should check out their YouTube channel. They're good guys, and I really like them. But uh, anyhow, let's see. Do I sell my radiated babies, Aaron? Yes, I do, but only in the state of Florida. Uh, what's up, Tall Traveler? Any HMS updates? No, but Sam tried calling me earlier, and I was on another call, and I, I haven't called him back yet. So, uh, you know, that video uh, was a good video. A lot of people seem to like it. A lot of information in that video, so that's kind of rad. Uh, let's see, fishing in Scotland. Louis Britton, really cold. I would imagine, just make sure you don't pull up Nessie, okay? Uh, how many turtles do I have? Somewhere in the neighborhood of 200. Any cats? Yeah, I have two. I have two cats. I'm trying to fire them out. Uh, I appreciate it, Mike Smith, for donating, for all you guys that donated to the GoFundMe for um, for HMS so we can find out exactly what's going on and help them out. do appreciate that, guys. Uh, let's see. It's, it's flying. It's flying. Uh, can you say hi to me, please? Amy something? Yeah. Hi. Let's see. Uh, YouTuber, <laughs> so many crazy questions going on. So yeah, calls just hanging out, man. Um, I want to be careful not to hurt him when I lean back in this chair. It's an Adirondack chair and it's it moves a little bit. Oh. oh, another thing maybe I can answer. A lot of you have written to me and want to know if you guys can kind of work here. It's my home. I'm not really in that place right now. Um, so I really don't have the public to my house, obviously, because, you know, now I'm even more concerned about animals going missing. But um, there will be opportunities as we are building the uh, new place that we may have some interns once we're up and running as a nonprofit. So that's going to be exciting. I hope you guys will all come visit. Um, so look at how, how cool Colin is, right? This is the snake in my pants uh, from my Instagram video. This is him. Uh, I trust him. He's the only snake I'd trust to slither up one side of my shorts, past my crotch, and then back down the other side. That's the only snake I'd trust because, man, wouldn't want to get bit there. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Yeah, a lot of people coming to visit. Good. Can't wait, you guys. Um, we're really going to try and do something unique. It will focus exclusively on reptiles and demystifying them and kind of what we do with the channel here. We want to make sure that people who don't necessarily love reptiles get a chance to interact with them. And so therefore, if we can kind of spread the love around, people will be less apt to harm reptiles or dismiss them as animals that don't deserve protection. So that's my goal. The other goal is to create someplace so aesthetically beautiful with botanicals and different landscaping and beautiful enclosures that you can really see these animals in a as natural environment as possible. So that's going to be uh, my, my passion and my goal and that's kind of what prompted me to kind of start the channel is to inspire people like that. Uh, and then ultimately we want to be able to go all over the place and see these animals in the wild too. Where are you going, Carl? Once he starts slithering around, I'll just pick you guys up. Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, here we go. Let's pick you guys up. All right. Uh, uh, Brian G asks if I can keep gopher tortoises. You need a special permit, and I don't have them, and I'm not really interested in keeping the uh, gopher tortoises. 
Because of all the non-native tortoises I have here, um, I'm afraid of any kind of disease breaking out. And there's a lot of, they have mycoplasm and all kinds of different, uh, different diseases that could infect my healthy, happy tortoises. So I don't want to do that. So here's Colin. I'm going to flip the camera so we can watch Colin and see what he's up to. There we go. Look at this, guys. Oh, he's going in the water, guys. How exciting. He's kind of exploring. Look at this. How cool. We'll just watch him explore now. Uh, you know, Anthony Serrano, we would love to get a Komodo dragon, but I'm not sure uh, we have to walk before we run. Solomon Island skinks are doing well there, tall traveler. Um, Colin is investigating this, uh, this uh, driftwood. How cool is that? So it's fun. I'm glad you guys wanted me to get him out so we can kind of hang out and watch him, you know? What's up, LB Gamers? You're saying hey, I'm saying hey to you. Uh, do I do a, uh, what is this? Uh, let's see, man. I just want to see what Colin's up to. He's still on me. He's pretty long snake. So he's, he's kind of all over the place right now. Uh, yeah, guys, I've seen, uh, I've seen the video from Catch Em All. Um, that is not my fly river, but thank you guys for looking out. Appreciate it. Um, let's see, uh, just got a red iguana and you wonder if I have any tips. Yeah, the tips would be to make sure you got your UVB and make sure, look at him, he's underwater. Look at you, Colin. You meeting the turtles? So awesome, dude. So, um, yeah, man, I just make sure I have the right diet, the right UVB lighting, large enclosure, and, uh, you know, always be kind of putting him somewhere where you are so he can see you. You'll tame him up really nicely, especially when they're small. Always handle them. Hang out with them and stuff like that, man. What's up, Alan Gonzalez from California? Uh, hi, Francisco from Portugal. I don't have any geckos. I'd love to go to the Caribbean. The Indian python is doing much better. Uh, I'm going to pull it out here tomorrow. Uh, let's see, let's see. Hold on, hold on. Kenan, can you wish me a happy birthday? Thanks, love what you do. Ben Worrell, everybody, say happy birthday to Ben. Happy birthday, Ben. How you like that, Ben? Hopefully everyone will join in and throw Ben Worrell a happy birthday, okay? Uh, Colin is, I don't know how long he is. I'm thinking Colin's like six foot, maybe more, maybe almost seven. Uh, but he's so handsome. And I think after the live chat, I'm going to chat. I'm going to maybe take some photos of him and throw him up on Instagram. What do you think? It seems like a good day to do some photos with Colin, huh? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Good deal. See, look at that, Ben. Everyone's wishing you happy birthday. You know why? Because Camp Kennan folks are a lot of fun, and uh, we like human beings. So, uh, But we like reptiles more, I think. But uh, there you go. Colin's kicking it. Look at this, guys. Look at this guy peeking out. I love him. Are you guys having fun or what? Uh, K. Nicholas W. will not be at the NRABC Tinley Park this month. Uh, no problem, Ben. Have a great birthday, buddy. I hope uh, you get everything your little heart desires. Congratulations for making it another year on this planet in this uh, existence. There you go. So, uh, yeah, man. We are rocking. We're having fun. Uh, yeah, man. William Shakespeare. Let's see if we can see the fish. I did a video about the fish. I got some of these uh, cichlids. But you know what? I don't think we're going to be able to see them right away. I can't see anybody. Do you see anybody? Colin's looking. There are uh, some African cichlids in here, but you see the glare, guys? There's kind of a big glare on the pond. You can see the palm tree and you can see the, uh, you can see the clouds, but no fish. So I'm pretty excited because we do have fish in here now. But more importantly, we have a Colin. My oldest reptile is a sulcata tortoise that was confirmed as an adult, brought into the United States in 1977. It lived with John Baylor, who was a famous herpetologist, and came to me in 2012. And uh, it was at least, it was an adult when it grew up, so it's gotta be close to 60 years old. It's been in the, it's been here in, for about 40, 41 years. So that's the oldest one I have. Zeus the tortoise, shout out. Oh man, reminds me of my Zeus. I had a tortoise named Zeus. And uh, well, I'll show you. All that's left of Zeus is this. 
Here's Zeus, guys. That's the, rema the remainder of Zeus. He was huge. But Zeus uh, was killed by one of my other tortoises, and it was kind of a bummer, man. So this is Zeus. Here's my hand. You can see how big he was. This tortoise was close to 200 uh, pounds, and I loved him. Um, but unfortunately, in 2008, I had gone to uh, Australia, and my dad was here. My dad's, he's 83 now, so he's in his 70s back then. And what had happened was he, um, the, the lumpy kind of speared him, and my dad didn't notice. And it, much like the video we did with Bob Bloom, where you saw that injury, the exact same injury on Zeus, but I wasn't able to save him. Update on that tortoise though, Bob Bloom's tortoise is doing extremely well and it's healing up. Meanwhile, we're back here, man. Check it out. Look at this. So crazy. How did I get just the shell? I allowed him to decompose and I got the shell. Look at this, everybody. I mean, is Colin not the most striking carpet python? Look at this. I love him, man. What's up, Miko from South Africa? Meet Colin from uh, my house. Hey, Colin. That is awesome, man. So uh, let's see, do I have any Russian tortoises? I have one uh, that I'm gonna get a home to one of my friends. Uh, let's see, don't know how old Colin is. I breed my Dumerel's boas and I have a pair of Timor pythons that I hope to breed. Uh, Finnegan Kenner, would I ever get a gecko? I got, a, I got a lot of different geckos that run around here. We have house geckos. Uh, and stuff like that. So I'm not really looking to get any more geckos. Uh, let's see, Kenan, all honesty, would love you to be willing to call with Catch Em All Fishing. I mean, I love both of you guys' videos, and man, it would be so dope and epic if you guys could collab. Maybe Young Thavage, possibly, never can tell. Uh, not named a monkey tail skanks yet. Wait a minute, Rodney, they're not skanky. They're just lizards. I mean, they're, they're going out. It's not like they're out being floozies come on dude spell check will ya i'm just kidding uh look at these photos man can you imagine when i take some pictures in a little while sick luke Rowe, i love ackies my buddy had some uh let's see do sri lankan star tortoises make good pets in the uk i don't know man you're gonna have to go ahead and uh keep them indoors i can tell you that and uh make sure you can find some captive raised babies in the uk because you do not want to get imports because imports never do well uh, there you go. Yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see. Morton Stirrup, for the answer to that question, go watch the video Lizards Everywhere with my buddy Anthony Furlong. What's up, Liam Br Brine? Bryn? 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 How you doing, man? Loving it, dude. I love Australia. Look at Colin, though, huh? Uh, I'll be getting some more. Oh, Kate Taranella. Le Colin, Sophia says hello. Here he is, Sophia. Sophia, this is more like Sophia's snake now. Kate's a little little girl. She loves that snake, and she handles him like a pro. So Colin's hanging out, and I'll be leaving soon to go get some dinner. So excited. Uh, no carpets are not invasive here in Florida. They wouldn't make it through our winter. So very cool, huh? Let's see. Uh, I do have baby Heo semis for sale. Baby wood turtles have three now. All right, man. You're welcome, Kate and Sophia. There's Colin hanging out. Uh, let's see, let's see. What about the incubator redfoot without an incubator? Uh, that's a coastal carpet, Amy, uh, Carla. Uh, snake scare me, but if I really want one, I think, wait, snake scare me, but I think it would bite me. Any thoughts on what I should do if I get one? Yeah, make sure you get a nice calm one and handle it every day and you will overcome your fear. And guess what? When I was a young lad, I had a garter snake and I was scared of it. So I started out a little bit scared of snakes, but you just learn more and more and you learn to handle them right. And uh, now I'm not afraid of them. So there you go. That being said, I don't like getting bit. Not too much fun. Look at Colin. Oh my God, these photos. I can't wait to take pictures. Hey guys, if you want to follow me on Instagram, head on over to Camp Kenan, K-A-M-P-K-E-N-A-N on Instagram. And I'll show you guys some cool stuff there as well. Lots of photos. I do the stories, just different videos and so on. But don't you guys think that Colin looks really happy where he is right now? Cameron, <coughs> Cameron, I'm from Long Island, New York. Oh my God, I swallowed a frog. Anyway, and around here, that could almost be real. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I forgot what I just asked. I forgot what I asked. Someone remind me what I just asked. 
What you're all saying yes to? Uh, let's see, the palm temps in the 70s. Let's see, let's see. Ah, thank you, he does look happy, right? He's looking good, dude. I love seeing them move around, do their thing. What's up, Mark Dunn? Shout out. Hi, Therese. Thanks, Luke, for following me, man. Appreciate it. I'm trying to get that Instagram uh, going. And uh, lots happening here at Camp Cannon. Been cleaning a lot. Got my parents in town. It's been a lot of fun. And now we're watching Colin. I'm just curious to see what Colin's going to do. Aren't you guys curious? Sure you are. Hi, Tanner. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Dante, that's your shout out, bud. I don't have any Chinese golden thread. Ocadia sinensis. Nice turtles. Used to have some. Don't have any more. Nice. All right. See you, Gene. Thanks for joining. Octavia, right on. Look at Colin's going. He's going under the bridge, people. So rad. Uh, you guys love shout outs. Uh, what do you got? You're 10 years old, Turtle Squad, and you hatch turtles? Congratulations, man. What's up, Kenan? Channel is awesome. Uh, watching from Snow England with my wife, Becky. What's up, Mike? Thanks, buddy. I'm watching Colin. And uh, I appreciate you guys in the UK watching our channel. Tom and I appreciate it, man. Tanner, there are fish in the pond. I've got a lot of cichlids in here now. Hello? There's a there's a bonus video upcoming. And I'm going to get more this weekend. I kind of... I, I think I'm get, becoming a fish nerd. I'm loving the fish. I love watching them like... Especially these uh, cichlids from Lake Malawi. These cichlids, man, they live in rocky areas. And so obviously this pond is dialed because they're loving it, man. They're just kind of hanging out, you know, checking things out in the uh, in all those rock crevices. Almost like, my, look at this snake. So mental. How cool is that? He's almost totally stretched out, people. Hey, you know what's funny? I wonder if I... Dude, I think he's, I think he's every bit of seven foot. Good Lord, that's awesome. Uh, man. Wait, someone asked a question. As a young kid, being into BMX and skateboarding, you were an inspiration to me then. Now as an adult, you still do amazing inspirational things. Still inspiration. Thank you. That's Earl. Oh, my God. Where is it? Oh, Earl. Earl. Earl the Pearl. Hey, Earl the Pearl. Thank you so much for your kind comment. Um, you know, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to just inspire people and have a good time with these animals and show people they're not scary beasts. And uh, I do appreciate you guys watching, so thank you. What's up, Move uh, Spinar from Sweden? Got to be cold in Sweden. Never made it to Sweden, but I was in Denmark. Loved it. Everyone rides bikes. Pretty cool in Copenhagen. So look at that snake move, man. Is that not beautiful? So rad. I'm 11. I want to be like you when I'm older. Well, thank you very much, Zeus. I, uh, I appreciate it, buddy. I'll tell you what. Take a little bit from me, a little bit from all the good people you meet in your life, and you can build your own personality that's what's important all right always be yourself but influences are nice um and i'm an honored man that you would think that buddy so i'll try not to uh do anything too stupid all right who knows but uh there you go check it out colin is just cruising i'm gonna flip the camera i just love it i love seeing this happen i love these guys thanks lee thanks wesley apex so guys guys check this out we are almost I think we're like less than 3,000 people from 200,000 subs. This is insane. So guys, you helped me out because back a few months ago, I was asking to get to 200,000 by March. And you know what? I'll take March where it looks like we're going to hit 200,000. That's in less than a year. It took us like three years to get to 100,000 and less than a year to get to 100,000 or to get to 200,000. So thank you. Uh, that's all because of you guys. So thank you so much. Uh, appreciate that and um, I just want to see if we can keep this momentum going the way I feel is I know a lot of you weren't happy with the Logan Paul thing and I've definitely reevaluated uh, who I want to collaborate with and so I want to kind of keep it real here um, I am all about doing collaborations with people that are really excited about animals and that's what we're gonna do and hopefully we can keep building man so that's what I'm trying to do so thanks to you folks for helping me out and helping me do that. So please share, tell your friends, if you like reptiles, then maybe they should check out this um, this channel. And if they like it, then they can hit subscribe, all right? Appreciate it, man. Really, really do appreciate it. Uh, Jake Foisey, thanks for watching, man. Uh, you know, sometimes these are hit and miss. Depends on what my internet's doing. You know, keeping it real is kind of an old term. It shows you how old I am. 
I was just yelled at by my girlfriend because I was on the phone and I said, holla back at me. And that's an old term too. I can bust out a lot of 90s uh, like slang words, but I'm kind of hip. I think the young ch children's like me. And uh, you know, I'm trying to learn. What's like a new term? Dude, let me tell you something about my snake. That snake is a savage. If you are a frozen thawed rat, you'll see why. Savage. That's, a, that's kind of a hip young term. term. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I really don't worry about it. Uh, what's RG from day two? Got to go in airplane mode. Ah! I'm a Chad. I'll knock you out. Who said that? Who said that? Oh, Wesley Apex. I'm a Chad. What do we got here? I'm only kidding, Wesley. Uh, Jason Torres says Brian Barczyk. I don't know why. Uh, do you know the way? I don't know the way. Can you collab with Brian Barczyk? Have. We'll do more. Uh, I'm such a Chad. I don't even know what that means. My God. Yes, Brian Barczyk and I will do more collaborations. I like Brian. We are friends. There's a snake in the grass. Actually, a snake on a... Oh, a Chad means alpha. Look at that. I'm learning. I'm, I'm alpha. Oh, you guys. That's so kind. I'm alpha. You know what I have to do? I have to check this alpha it has to walk over here and we have to check the skimmer because I think what's happening. Yep. My, that's what's happening. The skimmer check this out. A little aquascape 101. Here's the skimmer. It had, makes an adjustable. It's adjustable. So the pond I just filled up. So we're going to skim baby. We just lift that up and you see all the suds on the top. We're going to clear those off right now. All those bubbles. So what happened is I, I added water to the pond. Oh, here's some food. Look at this. Oh, no. Some food got caught in there. Maybe some turtles and uh, little critters will come out. Hope this isn't boring. We're learning. Hey, regards from Denmark. I was just talking about Denmark there, Morton. Very cool. Love Denmark. You got those snow snakes. Crazy. Just kidding. No snakes in Denmark that I know of. Maybe snakes, but no, uh, not at this time. And certainly not snakes like this. Thank you, Jean, Michael, Mikael, Micho. I appreciate it. Belgian. I have a old friend from Ghent, from Ghent, Belgium. She's there now. Good buddy of mine. All right. Well, there you have it, everyone. Here's a video. We've gone 32 minutes. We've hung out. We've talked. We've laughed. We've cried. Maybe not cried, but we definitely learned. I don't know what we learned today. I just kind of talked. How? Right, let's learn something. Phil. Phil Wessling, how deep should substrate be for an indoor enclosure? What is a good indoor substrate for a Hermans? Well, all right, I'll leave you with a tip there, my friend. Uh, so what you want to do with your substrate, if you have a little tortoise, uh, you want to make it at least as deep as he is long. And I like to use either the coconut bark, repti bark, some cypress mulch, and then I mix it with organic potting soil, mix it all together, and then put a thin layer of the bark on top. You moisten it and what will happen is the tortoises will be able to dig down into that moist layer and that's like a microclimate. You can also take sphagnum moss, put it in the corner and they'll, it'll kind of keep that area more humid or put it under a log or something like that. There you go. So there you go people. I uh, had a good time. I'm going to take some photos of Colin now. All right, there he is. There's Colin and uh, I appreciate it. Uh, the meanest animal I have is that that, that python, that Indian python, go check the video out. Thing is nuts. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to keep working with him. Hopefully his cantankerous nature will subside. Wow, just having a great time talking to you guys. Um, I had a whole thing where I was showing you turtles. They're in the pond. Turtles are in the pond. Anyway, this is it. I'm saying goodbye. Thank you so much. Uh, day was great. Please join me on Instagram, at Camp Kennan. If you want to help out the camp and help us produce these videos, head on over to patreon.com where you can become a supporter. I uh, would really appreciate it. Go to patreon.com slash Camp Cannon. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and the Camp Cannon Army channel where you can upload videos of your enclosures. We want to see what you're doing. I want to see your animals looking good. I want to see and know what you're feeding them. I want to see creativity with the designs. I want to inspire you guys to build the most incredible enclosures that you can for your animals. And it doesn't have anything to do with money, guys. You just have to have imagination and think like the reptile. What would they like? Where do they live? That's what you got to do. 
All right, so until then, I'm going to sign off by saying uh, conservation is an action sport, guys. Get involved. Go to your local reptile sanctuary or wildlife sanctuary. Get involved. That's the clearest way to a career in animals. And thank you so much, everyone. Have a fantastic weekend. I will see you all again next week. Colin. Oh, I forgot. Snakes are deaf. But uh, here, here's what I'll do. I'll... That's Morse code for everyone says goodbye. See you later. We're letting Colin know we're going off the air. So long, everyone.